my lovely TTs, welcome back. Now, chow, 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 honey, honey, honey. There is a lot going on right now. Of course, I'm going to start this video off with this whole funny Mike and Jalea situation that now involves Carmen. Yes. Now, like I said in my last video, funny Mike decided to upload a video onto his YouTube channel called She Cheated On Me, where he basically explains that he caught Jalea cheating on him. He's seen the text messages of her texting a another guy and he basically caught her cheating and allegedly being sneaky now there was another guy who came in the video you know claiming that he seen it as well now like i said in my last video i knew that jalea was going to respond to this i mean it was no way she wasn't going to respond to it and it looks like she actually did i thought she was going to upload a youtube video but she actually decided to go to instagram live and explain her side of the story now, here i am thinking that funny mike is just tripping or he's playing you know what I'm saying or he took the situation wrong that Jalea didn't actually cheat on funny Mike but Jalea actually hops on Instagram live and says that she didn't regret anything that she did basically insinuating that yes she did cheat on funny Mike or she was texting somebody else and that fans are acting like funny Mike wasn't the first one who started to cheat on Jalea she's been through so much with funny Mike and with the relationship and with him cheating on her that she just doesn't care at this point she also mentioned that you know she could have exposed funny mike a long time ago this is one thing that she has did you know versus all of the things that funny mike has did to her but she didn't fail to mention that funny mike actually was texting carmen at one point and she said that she wonders what funny mike and carmen was actually texting about now of course i know jalea knew that you know all of the blog and t pages was going to catch a hold of this and start posting it and start wondering like what the heck was Carmen and Funny Mike, you know, texting about? So, of course, this was posted onto the Shape Room Teens. And that's when Funny Mike decides to actually go on Instagram Live and clear up the rumors. He said that there was nothing going on between him and Carmen. They were only texting about business because she wanted him to be in one of her videos. But then during the end of his live, he actually calls Carmen a dog a B, which was very disrespectful at first i thought he was talking about jalea but you know then it later on came out that he was actually talking about carmen that's when carmen actually decides to go on instagram live to clear up all the rumors she said the same thing that she was only texting funny mike about business she said that she actually hit up jalea first just to make sure it was okay with her and to let her know that she was going to hit up funny mike strictly on business Business, but she didn't like the fact that funny mike disrespected her in the live that he had just went on that's when she added funny mike to her live and he basically said that's just the way that he talks he didn't mean no harm by it he didn't mean to be disrespectful to her that's when carmen tells funny mike to just post the text messages so everybody can see that there was nothing going on between them funny mike said that he didn't have the text messages anymore and and Carmen said that she was going to post them. That's when she got off of Instagram Live. Now, moving on. Now, Corey is getting into this whole situation. Now, he's trying to come after Funny Mike for being disrespectful to his girl, Carmen. Now, Corey and Funny Mike are beefing. Now, Funny Mike posted to his Insta story a video of the police at his house. And I'm guessing Jalea was the one who called the police on him. I'm guessing this because he did say in his video that him and Jalea was still living together. I guess she doesn't want him there anymore. But then he posted the post from the Shade Room Teens where basically Corey was going off on him and he put a song with it called Clown A.N. basically insinuating that Corey is a clown. That's when Corey posted to his Insta story and he said, dude, you know how I'm coming. You know about me. Don't let these little fans boost your head. 
Carmen actually posted the text messages between her and Funny Mike, basically showing that, you know, this whole situation that they had going on or that they were talking about was only about business, nothing more, nothing less. Now, of course, a lot of people was going to assume what Jalea was saying about Carmen was true, like Carmen said in her Instagram live, because we all remember what happened last year between Neek and King, where Neek basically posted to her Twitter a exposing King and Carmen for meeting up or talking or messing around with each other. I can't remember exactly what she was saying, but she was basically insinuating that Carmen and King had something going on on the low. So of course, when Jalea said this, you know, this actually made sense. A lot of people was like, okay, Carmen is out here trying to take people's mans. But Carmen said, no, that is not the case. And she wants people to stop mentioning her name in their drama. Now, I do have to agree with Carmen. This situation has went way too far. Carmen and Corey shouldn't even be in this situation. This started off with Funny Mike and Jalea. It actually started off really with Funny Mike trying to expose Jalea with making that video, which I did feel like Funny Mike was wrong for making that video, especially knowing that, you know, he had cheated on Jalea many times in the past and she took him back, but he got so hurt that this one time he catches Jalea cheating on him now he wants to end it now it's all this drama now he's exposing her and that's just not right I feel like he feels like oh her cheating this one time equals up with allegedly him cheating a lot of times and that is just not the case now this situation has went way too far with Jalea mentioning Carmen and then Corey getting into it now he's beefing with Jalea, Carmen, and Corey. So like I said, you know what I'm saying? Funny Mike, if he really felt some type of way about Jalea cheating on him, he could have just left Jalea and left the situation alone and let everybody know later on that he was with somebody else. And you know, things ended between him and Jalea. But as far as him trying to expose Jalea, it definitely backfired on him. But y'all let me know what y'all feel about this crazy situation in the comments below. Anyway, Anyways, let's go ahead and move into our girl Miss Mulatto. Now, lately, I guess there's been a lot of people talking about Miss Mulatto and how she looks older than her age. That's when she decides to set the record straight and post to her Insta story that there's nothing old about her but her money. She said, Don't ever play with my face card. Y'all love to be in the blog comments saying how old I look. Don't let them wigs, makeup, and stage outfits fool you. I got old money and carry my myself like a grown woman that's all that's when somebody decided to comment and say the white woman jumped out when she said old money that's when lotto responded and she said fyi black people can have old money so i don't know what you mean i was referring to the income i've accumulated since 16 years old not inherited income i'm a first generation millionaire now i have seen a couple of people talk about miss mulatto's white side and i don't understand as we all know her mother is white her dad Dad is black but people will just bring up her race in a situation that has nothing to do with her race like she could say something very controversial or something about some type of fries some type of food some type of car or something like that and people will just bring up the fact that she has a white mother and I'm just not really understanding it it just doesn't make sense to me now I can see if she said something else that has to do with race but she's literally talking about having old money that really doesn't have anything to do with race because yes black people can have old money as well well, y'all help me understand or inform me if, you know, I'm missing something here. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and move on to our last topic, which is going to be Lil Dirk. Now, I'm super proud of Lil Dirk. If you guys didn't know already, he took to his social media a couple of days ago and let everybody know that he will no longer be mentioning D-E-A-D -E people in his songs, which I think is very great. Well, today he decided to post to his Insta story and let everybody know that he is bettering himself as a person. He said, bettering myself as a person and a 
of father putting my pride to the side and standing on all 10 to become a real boss like i said in my last video i'm very glad that little dirk is not letting any of the antagonizing and people trying to push him to do something actually get to him and you know i seen a lot of the comments in my last video and i liked what a lot of people were saying basically he has a family to take care of he has a lot of kids so he's not trying to go down the wrong path he's trying to take care of his family and his kids so it looks like he definitely has his head on straight but y'all let me know what y'all feel about these three situations in the comments below once again my lovely tts thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and of course i will see you in the next video